Hey everyone, it's me, Acacia Forgot, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today, I'm so excited because I'm turning myself into Trisha Paytas. I love Trisha Paytas so much. She's a huge inspiration for me when it comes to drag and big, beautiful, blonde babe. I love that so much and I love her and I've been her before for Halloween and I also recreated another look of hers when I went to her concert so here I am doing it again so I'm gonna jump in and do my drag base get like my face on and I'll be back in time to do the eyes and all the stuff that actually makes me Trish so if you want to see how I do like my drag base with my highlight my contour my foundation you can check that out in the description below and I will be right back okay everyone I am back and beautiful. I have my whole base done, I have my eyebrows done, I have it all highlighted, and I look kind of crazy, but that's fine and fun. So it seems like her favorite makeup style is a smoky eye because she does it all the time, which I love. It looks so good on her and it's sexy. So I think that's what we're gonna do today. Usually when I do a Trisha Paytas look, or at least the last few times I did it, I did a smoky eye because it looks great and it's very her. So the first thing you do is prime her eyes and I'm going in with the Morphe Eyeshadow Primer. I love this stuff. I'm just gonna squirt a little bit on the back of my hand, just like that, and then go in with my finger and massage it into my eyelid. So now I'm just gonna jump right into the eyeshadow and I will be using the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette once again, just like I did in my last video. I love this palette so much. We'll be sticking around some of these darker shades right here for our nice little smoky eye. I'm gonna go in with the Jeffree Star 6 brush and I'm gonna go in with this dark shade right here called Soda Pop and I'm going to put that all over like right on my, my eyelid, which is gonna be the darkest part of the smoky eye. Actually, first I need to Put some powder under my eyes to catch any fallout. In case you don't know why I'm doing this, you wanna pack on powder underneath your eye so that if any eyeshadow falls out, you can just sweep it away with the powder that's already there. Just kind of rests on top. Otherwise, it'll just land on your foundation and stick. So you swipe it away, it'll streak it across your face. Now we'll go back in and continue where we left off. And then I'm gonna bring it higher than like my natural crease as you can tell because it's drag, it's more exaggerated, so it's gonna come up a lot higher. So now I'm gonna go in with this shade right here, Central Park, and blend out the edge of the soda pop color. And I'm gonna use the Jeffree Star number five brush to do so. Just like that. Now we'll go into the other eye. Now we'll go into this shade right here, Pukey, and we'll blend that out even farther and just kind of like work our way fading it out. Just like that. Before I jump over to the other side, I'm going to take this shade here, Silk Cream, and finish out the blending. So now I'm gonna go into this shade right here, this corner one called Abyss, and put that just right on the lid so it just fades all the way down to just the abyss, the dark abyss. That's what we want. So appropriately named, great job, Jacqueline. Kudos to you. And then I'll just blend that up into the rest of it so it's all just a seamless transition. Now I'll jump into the other side. Damn, this is going fast, y'all. I love a good smoky eye because it does go really fast because it's just like pile some color on, put a lash on, you're good to go. Love that. 
It's a good, fast look. So I'm gonna pop some of this color right here, beam in the inner corner, just to give a little bit of a pop or something. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna jump right in with my finger. Cute, uh, look at that. Love that. When you do that, it really just opens up the whole eye, which could be good for a smoky eye because since it's all these colors, it could make the eye seem smaller. So doing that will kind of open up the space a bit more, which is nice. I'm just gonna brush away all this powder underneath my eyes. And then I'm gonna go, ah, uh, just shove the brush in my eye. Ow! So now we will do the under eye, kind of smoke that out and connect it around to really finish off the look of the eyeshadow. So I'm gonna take this brush, I have no idea what it is. I got it from CVS in some bright color package. It seemed cool. But I'm gonna take a brush like this to smoke out the under eye. I think I'm gonna jump into this shade right here, Central Park first, since that's kind of like a neutral color just to get that base. And then we'll go in with some lighter ones and some darker ones to get more dimension. Okay, now we will take some of Soda Pop and work that on the outside. And we'll take some of Abyss here in the corner and do that on like the very out outside to blend it into what's happening on top. Okay, I'm just gonna brush off the brush a little bit on a napkin just to get the remnants of that shade off so that we can go into a little bit of lighter shade to blend it all together. Now I'm going into this shade right here called Pukey to blend it all in together and make it all just one happy family of shades. Now I'm gonna go in with my Jeffree Star number six brush just to kind of go along like the outer edge just so it's not such a harsh line to blend out just the tissue. There's like not really any product on here so I'll just go in with what I have on the brush already. Boom, 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 boom. Now it's time to curl my eyelashes, put on mascara, which I'm gonna do off camera. I'm gonna come back and we'll jump into the lashes. Okay, I'm back, my eyelashes are black, love that. Now, I made these lashes here that I will be using on my face today. And these are some custom, thick, bushy lashes that I made for this Trish look today. So the lashes that I used to stack them is I used a pair of these on the bottom just to kind of have like a base. These are the Eyelure ones called Definition 3-pack. Uh, these are great, they're inexpensive. You can get them at Ulta, at drugstores, love them. Then I put a th pair of 304s on, and then I put like a half of a 301 on the outside, and then I put another kind of half of a 301 somewhere in the middle. And typically when Trish is in her full glam, she'll wear a thick, full eyelashes. So this is my recreation of them. I am feeling more like Trish already. Perfect, look at that. Look at those bushy tarantulas on my eyes. Oh my gosh. Yeah, queen. Yes. Uh, I feel like I'm literally petting a spider. <laughs> To be honest though, sometimes I my eyelashes will end up around my apartment and I will actually think it's a spider. And it's a very toxic thing to do to myself. <laughs> Whatever. Okay, now I'm just gonna throw on some mascara on my bottom lashes just to help balance it out a bit and just make it, I don't know, more dramatic or something. I feel like when I don't have to do eyeliner, my makeup just goes so much faster, which I live for. <laughs> cool, I think my eyes are done. I'm going to throw on a little bit of blush just to rosy some things up, and I'm gonna go in with my favorite flesh blush and pinch. You guys know I love this stuff. I use it pretty much every time. I'm 
And then I'll just put a dash on my forehead to blend my contour with my highlight and just kind of rosy up my face a bit just to make me look alive, you know? I love that. I love living, looking like I'm living, looking like I'm alive. Yeah, queen. <laughs> Am I right? Now we are jumping into the lippy lippies. Ma, and we are gonna use the same ones as last time. These are the Jeffree Star, uh, Delicious, and Nathan. You're probably gonna get bored of these colors, but this is just one of my favorite nude ombre. So if I'm doing anything with nudes, I love this combo. And now Trish has big lips, so we're gonna overdraw today, which I typically always do, but we're gonna do a little bit extra just for her. Mwah, just like that, love it. Now my makeup is done, so I'm just gonna go change and completely transform into Trisha Paytas. I will be right back. Okay everyone, I am back and I am embodying Trisha Paytas. I feel like her, I look like her-ish. I got my long weave on, I got it all the way down to my butt, girl. I got my titties hanging out. I feel slutty and beautiful. Oh, you can see my breastplate. Let's bring the hair up to hide that. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Do you think I look like her? Do you think I look at least beautiful? I look great, girl, and I love it. What do you think? Now, you may be wondering, why do you want to look like Trisha Paytas? First of all, I love doing it. I love becoming Trisha Paytas. But on Thursday, I am posting part two of this video. Yes, I am going out and eating like Trisha Paytas for a day. Now, if I'm eating like Trisha Paytas for a day, I figured I need to look like Trisha Paytas for a day and see what it's really like to go out looking like this at a high noon on today's Wednesday that I'm filming this. So it's gonna be so much fun. I'm so excited. I'm starving. I've been fasting for this day. So please let me know what you think about this. Look in the comments. Subscribe, please. You can also find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Acacia Forgot. Give this video a thumbs up if you like this and if you want to see me transform into someone else. And if you have any suggestions, put them in the comments as well. Anyways, hope you guys have a great week and I will see you on Thursday. Ow. It's like my part is not centered in my face, but whatever.